Hello again, my friends. This is Kunita. And as always, I bring you greetings in the name of our risen Lord, Yeshua, Almighty God. And as you can probably already tell, yes, this is going to be something of a different kind of podcast. So sit back and enjoy the humor and a little bit of the zaniness. Because, my friends, there is a method to my madness. And God did lay a message on my heart that I'll give to you when this is when this part is all over. <laughs> so sit back and enjoy, my friends, and relax. <laughs> okay, I'm back, my friends. I I hope you enjoyed the zaniness, the little bit of craziness here in the podcast this evening. But as I said to you earlier, there is a method to my madness. And there is a message to be presented tonight. You know, my friends, God's plan and His will is for His children that they be a spirit-controlled and a joy-filled people. Yet as I look around and I speak with believers, I know of no greater need in the body of our Lord today than the need for joy. Harsh times and fears about an uncertain future have placed a grimness in the hearts of many. And because of this, my friends, my Heavenly Father has laid laid a message, a message on my heart for these times. What is it you say? Lighten up! Says the Lord, that's the message, my friends. Lighten up! Relax. Learn to laugh again. Be joyful always and in everything. Give thanks. This is my will for my people, he says. Oh, my friends, to lighten up is to empty our hands of all worry and concern. Dump it. Get rid of it. It is the cares of the world which our Lord Himself said choke the love of God from manifesting within our lives. World cares chokes out God's peace. Even the very word care itself has an earthy quality about it which is which is lacking in divine power. Care. The word care is often embedded within it the ideas of concern or worry, or fear, and these things cloud our spirits. Oh, my beloved, we must let go of these things in the love of our Heavenly Father. Learn to laugh again and to enjoy the bounty all about us and the abundance God has given us. His many blessings are meant to be experienced and enjoyed, or much of their purpose is lost to us. My friends, most of us have walked with him for many, many years, and we know him. We know him in his faithfulness. The same hands that lifted us, lifted us to his new birth, still guide and protect us, and assure us that all things are as they should be, that he is still in control. The light, so magical in its morning beauty, has lost none of its luster. The river, which flows through past ages, has not dried up in the sands of time. The fire, that blazed so clear as life itself, has not died down to ashes. The living God, in all his majesty, is still our refuge as he has spoken it so it will be my friends faith in the faithfulness of God results in a peace that is evident to all and this peace will man itself, manifest itself within our hearts in three specific ways as we as we encounter the adversity of our own individual pathways and of life circumstances. First, our faith in God allows us to lighten up about the things that are happening in the present. 
Secondly, our faith in God allows us to let go of the things that have happened in the past. And third, our faith in God allows us to be free from worry about things that might happen in the future. You see, our, our faith in the faithfulness of God indeed gives us victory over the past, the present, and the future all at once, my friends. Like the great eagle rising above the clouds to avoid the storms, so too are we called to soar above and not beneath. To lighten up is to be lifted up by the grace of God into the higher ways of thinking, feeling and experiencing the love of God, both in ourselves and as we relate to others. High hope, high faith, high love. This is lightening up. And from this higher view, <laughs> all our earthly problems pale and shrink and shrivel shrivel into something absolutely laughable. We see that God, through Christ, has made us sons. Sons well able to overcome all the evil that this, this earth will ever throw at us through His power from on high. And that high power, the power of, of His Shekinah goodness, the Shekinah goodness of the living God. And just as this power illuminated the Ark of the Covenant, the tabernacle and the temple, this same power, this same light, this same glory envelops us and burns forever brightly, my friends, in our mouths, in our hearts, in our minds. So let your faith, my friends, let your faith be evident to all by doing these three things that the Lord asks you tonight. Lighten up. Lighten up. Learn to laugh again. And give up worry and fear, my friends. It has no place in the believer's life. Think about it. What were you worried about anyway? Are there a few hiccups coming? Perhaps a bump in the road? Yeah, probably, certainly. At least for each of us, there's going to be at least one major bump in the road anyway. What to say to that? I say, so what? So what? Does it change? the love of God in your heart. What did you expect, my friends, when you took up the way of the cross? A walk through the rose garden? Or did you expect to get out of this life alive? My friends, we were given a faith in the living God. And we were given, as a part of that faith, a joy that is almost unexpressible and cannot be quashed unless we throw it away ourselves by infilling ourselves with the cares of what might or might not be in our future or the worries about the present. My friends, listen to the words of God tonight. Lighten up. Learn to laugh again. Give up worry and fear. God is in control, my friends, and He never, never fails. Amen. Good night, my friends.